about uh, the situation and uh, everybody here to give me the opportunity to come and stand before you today. We all, as Sheikh Alaq said, we get hit by Musiba. Musiba to know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called it is. And we all say, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja'oon. But then we go back to our busy lives, and then it happens to us. It will happen. Kullu nafsin da'ikul kul mawt. And everybody will face this sooner or later. But then, we don't do anything about it. We just get back to our busy lives and we make it every, everybody else's problem. The masjid problem, then the masjid, when I die, the masjid, my masjid should take care of me or my friends, my neighbors, somebody else, but it's not my problem. Yet, indeed, it is my problem. It is a problem that I have to prepare for. Uh, whether for myself, for my neighbor, for my family, this is something that I shouldn't put the burden on the, the masjid or the administration or my neighbor to, to deal with. And, and with that said, uh, we, we came with this idea that we, we shouldn't buy for the masjid anymore. We shouldn't buy for the masjid and make the masjid the burden to, to bury us when we, have, when we die, when we face this calamity. And with that said, we went ahead and we found a nearby uh, graveyard in uh, Marlboro. Uh, and it's uh, about 20 minutes from here. We bought it for the intent to resell to you and me and to Ahmed and Mustafa and make it our own property to have. Uh, and we're working on the process. So, inshallah, I'll give my kid the certificate, Ali, my son, I will give him the certificate and on that certificate there is a phone number he knows to call because as Sheikh Allah said it's not only a financial problem sometimes people have the money but then they get faced with this calamity and then they don't know what to do they don't know who to call they don't know where to go they don't know who's the funeral director in our area they don't know they come they rush to the Imam and make it the Imam and the Masjid issue the Imam and the Masjid uh, dilemma where we all unfortunately go back to our busy lives and heedlessness to our hafla. And I don't want to have this hafla to happen to all of us. And with that said, I put this uh, little brochure before you. It has my number and I put uh, an email right there. The, the graveyard itself, the plot, it sells for bulk for the masajid for $300. What we did is we bought bulk, we bought a thousand uh, makbara with all the help of brothers like you who raised the fund to pay for it as far the Hassan with the intent that we will pay them back as soon as we sell those. And alhamdulillah we sell more than 700 makbaras out of the thousand that we bought. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So uh, it's it's not uh, it's not something that as myself I would pass to you as this is something that you should help yourself. You should help your neighbor. You can buy one for your neighbor as sadaqa uh, jariya and, and and see it. A lot of us come from different places. A lot of us don't have families in here. Something like this happened to one of us and he doesn't have family in here, then it becomes our problem. Mignaya, that if something like this happened, this will be his culprit, uh, and inshallah this would be Sadaq uh, Jari. So if you wanted to put your name and telephone number, and then I will contact you uh, with, with more information, or if, you, if we have like two more minutes to ask a couple of questions, uh, you can ask right now, raise your hand and ask if you have a question in mind or if you need to email me or uh, call me, my number is in there and my email is in there. Yes. We're working on this process, we're trying, we have a funeral home and we have, we're working on an all-inclusive one centralized number so on the certificate it would be a phone number and that phone number will route you to which message that you 
frequent to, which masjid you want a janazah to, which, masjid, which funeral home uh, you want to, we're working on uh, a path funeral uh, for, for the time being, we push them, we try to get more masajid to, to push, we have a purchasing power, we are a lot, of, a lot of people. So alhamdulillah, so far we made it less than $3,000, which is a very good number for, uh, for burial, all inclusive. Uh, that, that's part of the, the process too. And we were working to include more massage so we make it even more centralized. But we, we, it's part of the, the process. The, the Qabr is one of the items. There is the funeral home, there is the funeral director, there is the transportation and the paperwork, so it's, it's not the... the uh, it's one ton of the expenses, but this is a variable too. Like we, before, before this maqabir came, the, the alhamdulillah a lot of masajid bought from this maqabir. Tawheed is in, Laman is in, uh, MCNJR Masjid Fort is in, uh, Walay of Edison is in. So many, many of the masajid are, are buying. But, but like before, when we had Route 33, it was over a thousand dollars. So to get a Makura net today for three hundred dollars, it's a very good uh, price. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. I can say. This is exclusive for the Muslims. So it's a non-secular graveyard. So it's uh, for all Muslimin and it's run by Muslimin, it's owned and operated by Muslimin. The board of the Muqabr is from other, uh, of, of many masajid. Uh, Bayon, for instance, has a board member, we have a board member, so it's owned by all masajid. It's not exclusive to New, to New Jersey, but however, we abide by the New Jersey law. So anything that local to New Jersey law, that's fine. That doesn't mean that someone from New York cannot go across the border and get buried here. Most of our brothers in Brooklyn, Staten Island nowadays, they are buried in Route 33 on uh, down. So it, it, it is open for New Yorkers. Yes. Is the whole graveyard for the Muslims or just part? No, no, all, all Muslims. This is a small uh, Maqabra. This is about 8,000 uh, Maqabra. And all inclusive, owned and the first uh, in New Jersey to be owned and operated by Muslims. Like Route 33 is not owned by Muslims. Uh, the one in Texas Road is not owned by Muslims. This is the first one to be owned and operated by Muslims. Uh, you said it's 700 and sold already, so 300, 300 left? Yeah. 300, I can buy it. It's not 300 left in the power, but I have. Only 300 left because the, the way that the uh, the Mukabar sell they sell 500 to get the 300 dollars uh, price you, you gotta buy well you gotta buy 500 and this is what we bought so that, that's good okay. right so Zakum Allah here for giving me the opportunity uh, again you have my phone number there you can call me anytime for any question or if you are interested and. Uh, if you want to fill this and, and give it to me, then I'll contact you. You're going to get a certificate from either El Wale or El uh, when, when you buy it. So it's not my uh, my name. I die tomorrow. I want you to be uh, binded by some other big uh, organization. Zakumla.